Daniel the assessment toolbox here. We are talking about volume with unit cubes. Now each one of these is a cube. A cube has the same size face on all of its sides. It's going to have six of those and each one of those is the same size as each other. So we need to figure out how many cubes total there are in this solid figure here. Now the great thing is there are multiple ways that we can do this. One is by addition. We can simply count how many we see right here and we could count it a few different ways. We have three blue ones right there and three green ones right here. So three plus three is one way that we could think about it. Another awesome thing is that we could count differently. We could count by those two these two and those two. So two plus two plus two is also another way that we could use addition to solve this. So this layer here has a total of six. Now I've done some upgrading here and I used the same bottom layer but now added a second layer here. So I want to give you a moment and see if you can figure out how many unit cubes there are now. How many pieces this size make up this figure. The great news is you can solve it a bunch of different ways. So take a look at it, think about it a few different ways and see what makes most sense to you. Now since we've got these shapes just like they are, there's a few different ways that we can look at it. I'm going to pull off this top layer and set it to the side right here. So another way that we can talk about this and figure out how many cubes there are is multiplication. We already solved the bottom layer. This base here had a total of six cubes and we added a second layer that's the exact same size. When I put it on here, it fits evenly and there are no extra gaps. This is going to be the same size layer. And even as we think about multiplication, there are a few different ways that we can think about it. One is this group of six and a second group of six right here. So we could think about this as six times two. But here's something else. I could go by each color row right here. If I separate them out a little bit like that, I have groups of three now. And I could do a group of three, how many groups of three do I have? I've got four right there. So three times four is also another way that we could think about this. When could you use addition and when could you use multiplication? Well, you could always use addition, but the numbers might get so large that it would take a long time and be difficult. Multiplication is addition with equal groups. In this case, we had equal groups of threes, so it worked. In our first case, we had equal groups of sixes, so that worked. So now as I put it back together, we have found a few different ways to find out the total unit cube count is 12. Now here's the next one, and this one looks a little bit different. It does not have the same amount of cubes in each layer. In the previous one, we had the same layer on top as we did on the bottom, but this one is quite a bit different. So I want to give you a moment, look at this and see how many cubes total you think there are. Multiplication might not work on this one unless you found equal groups somehow. Addition could be a good strategy. The great news is we can break this apart and see, and we do have a little bit of grouping by color. So I'm going to take off this top layer. That's a one right there. And then I've got two yellow ones. And then I've got some on the bottom. How many greens do I have? How many blues? Well, let's take off the yellow here so that we can see. This cube was never visible, but it had to be there. Why? Well, I don't think that yellow cube was going to be floating on its own. And so we could figure out that that cube was there. Well, now we've got a few different ways of how we could count up the cubes. You could do uh, by color. You've got a three plus a two plus two plus one. That's one way that you could solve it. Let's try another method and let's go by layer. The bottom layer was how many cubes total? The bottom layer was five. The second level up was how many? It's going to be two yellow cubes. And the top layer right there is one as well. So you could try five plus two plus one is another way to solve that. I do want to show you one more way. We could split it by layer vertically. 
So we could separate those just a little bit right here. And how many are there right here? This one has five cubes on that layer, and then two cubes here on this, and then one cube on this layer. And so it doesn't have to be vertical layers that you can count by. You can split these a lot of different ways. You can choose the way that makes most sense to you. Sometimes it'll be easier one way and easier another in a different problem. And so this one could also be shown as five plus two plus one in a slightly different way. Last one here. Let's do a comparison between these two figures. Which one has more cubes? Which one has less cubes? I'll give you a moment to do some calculating and see what you come up with. I'm really interested to see how you decided to calculate it. Were you able to use multiplication? Did addition make more sense? Which one works better for you this time and why? All right, there are always a few different ways that you can solve it. This one right here, I might solve it by color layer going this way. So I see four plus three plus one to give me a total of eight. Just to do some rearranging, it's a four by two and that's eight. So I've got eight right here. So how about this one? Uh, let's see, I could start at the bottom and count up. Uh, I could go vertically right there. Let's try it a few different ways. On the bottom, I've got three plus two plus one plus one. So that is one way to solve it. Or I could do vertical layers here, four plus two plus one. So that gives me a total of seven. So as I compare between these, I have eight in this figure, seven in that figure right there. So as you can see, there's so many different ways to solve these. That doesn't have to be an overwhelming thing. That can give you confidence that maybe you can find a way that works really well for you, that you enjoy solving it, that makes the most sense to you. So great work. You are now ready to tackle questions and problems dealing with volume with unit cubes.